This might be the most polarizing Lunchable to ever hit the shelves. Lunchables, all-star burgers, and hot dogs. Make fun of lunch. You guys, hello, happy Monday. Welcome to another week of life. <laughs> uh, when I was growing up uh, through school, the thing that really got me pumped was dope lunches. I'll be honest with you. Uh, we never really did a lot of hot lunches growing up. We were pretty much a peanut butter and jelly, take your sandwich to school kind of family. But every once in a while, I'd get a Lunchable. And if that was on a Monday, I knew it was gonna be a great week. The one that always really irked me, weirded me out, even as a kid, which do you understand how hard it is to weird out a kid with food made for kids? What? <laughs> the mini, Hot dogs, lunchable. The ham and cheese, the turkey and cheese, the pizza, those are common, those are loved. These, I think, was either a, you loved them oddly, or you despised them obviously. I've been doing a lot of the Sean's first time eating stuff, but I've also been parceling in some Sean's first time trying things in a decade or two decades. Today is one of those things. This is my first time having the mini hot dogs in 20 years, and it's all made possible by the person that donated for something kind of weird, Miss Stacy Talek. Recently found your channel and have been binge watching ever since. I can't think of any crazy foods for you to try at the moment, but my son and I love your content and wanted to contribute. Stacy, A plus human. We love you and Allie. Lionel is the cutest thing ever, and your grandpa is adorable. Here's to the Allie Cannoli Fund, Lionel's Treat Fund, and weird things for you to try to find and eat. This was a perfect excuse because I've walked by the Lunchables aisle a few times recently and was like, I really want to like dive into that culture of that again because I obviously don't eat Lunchables anymore. This is so funny that this is still, this one is still being made. It's clearly selling units, so it's still being made. Ugh. So Stacy and Logan, thank you so much for donating. Uh, Stacy, I wanna hear your thoughts, your experience with Lunchables. Let's get into this today, <laughs> see what it's all about from my childhood, and just chat nostalgic 90s things. You know I had to bust out this shirt. Team Chucky. We can still go back. It's not too late. I mean, TGIF on Fridays, the Rugrats, Razor Scooters, Sonic the Hedgehog, Capri F and Sons. I'm so excited for this. Okay, oh my god, these are so, look at these little buns, dude. Okay, so this box has mini hot dogs made with chicken, comma, pork added. Mmm. Mini hot dog buns, ketchup with starch added, mustard, Capri Sun fruit punch, and Sour Patch Kids. This bad boy was $3.99. Four bucks for a 300 calorie explosion of child cuisine. Would not be a good copywriter. And the teeny weenies put the hot back in the dog. Oh. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Growing up, there were some times when there wasn't a microwave around and I definitely made these and ate these cold. Top notch branding on <laughs> the mustard and ketchup. It's all coming back to me. When you kiss me like that. Let's see if I still got it. I remember you wanted it, wow, it's like muscle memory. I started pinching the middle so it kind of fattens up the top and it makes it easier to go right in. Man, was that, I, oh, muscle memory. <laughs> Why did I stop drinking these? That is, I mean, wow, nostalgia for sure. That's refreshing. They have really not tweaked the Capri Sun branding very much, and rightfully so. Like, the silver pouch, they make adult Capri Suns now. We miss Capri Sun so much that bars just started making versions of this with booze in them, which, what, co what, is, what color is a Capri Sun? Like, is it just clear? It's gotta be clear, right? How's everybody else starting off their week? Oh, it's got a little bit of a soft pink to it. Barely. You know why I'm doing this, right? <laughs> Can I see some ID? 
How mad are you right now? <laughs> it doesn't even taste like there's any alcohol in it. It's gonna be a good day. Should I start buying Capri Suns at the grocery store and like drink them? <laughs> just on camera like with the videos I do here and then never explain it. And then the people that watch this video will always know, like our bond will be so much stronger. Why is this dude always drinking Fruit Punch Capri Suns? You wouldn't get it, Clark624. Okay. <laughs> I smell it. They're so adorable, it's like food for Stuart Little. Okay, maybe the $4 price tag is absolutely terrible. This isn't very much food. The calories are coming from all the sugar and the Capri Sun and the in the Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I hate ketchup on hot dogs, so I'm only gonna, not even for like the Chicago thing, I just don't think it fits the flavor profile. <laughs> All right, so I gotta microwave these, huh? Fun to eat, no need to heat. Dude, I, you know, but get some standards. Place hot dogs on microwavable plate or paper towel. Microwave on high for 15 seconds, cool slightly. Place in buns. Oh, so they don't want you to microwave the buns. Look at this, it's already broke. So dumb. I'm gonna do the, I want the buns to be warm as well. Do you think you're gonna watch a video like this today? Honestly, on this channel, you never know. Okay. <laughs> this is not enough food. Even for like, eight year old me. Man, I really don't wanna do ketchup, you know? Shout out to all my millennials, and then, I can't imagine if any of Gen Z buying and eating this. Do you guys? I'm gonna do the first one with just mustard and then I'll put some ketchup on the second one. <laughs> Mini hot dogs, Lunchables, first time in 20 years. Now, maybe longer. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It's not any worse than like, the mini corn dog appetizer at B-dubs. <laughs> it doesn't have like a bad texture, it just tastes like a boiled hot dog. Also, microwave the buns. That helps it so much. <laughs> oh, you guys. Did you have a favorite Lunchable? I think if I was eating healthy, it was like the turkey and cheese with the crackers. I should do the pizza one. Will somebody please donate for the pizza one? I'll do the pepperoni pizza, and I'll show you the way that I, oh, this ketchup is like, I don't know. I'll show you the way I eat it. The pizza, not this. I don't like buy into the whole like Chicago's like no oh, ketchup on hot dogs ever. That was such a spot on Chicago accent. Or taking punishment from a team that is known as Starbers. Starbers. I do whatever you want. I don't care. I just don't think ketchup goes with tubed meat. <laughs> Fries, yes. All right, here we go. Whatever. I'll just do the whole thing. Ketchup sucks on a hot dog. Do what you do, believe in what you believe, but you're wrong. I want eight more of those with the mustard only. Wouldn't it be funny if they made a Chicago one with like little packets of relish and celery salt and little poppy seed buns? <laughs> in my day, you could get the Lunchable for 99 cents. These kids are playing a pool box now. I went to the Lunchable website. There's so many flavors. They also have like an uploaded or something like that, like a more intense array of flavors. Like the pizza, remember the regular pizza I was talking about? There's also a Chicago style deep dish one. <laughs> In my day, there was only four options. You didn't say shit. You just ate it and shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? Let's look up the year that Lunchables were invented. Everybody comment right now what you think it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm at a point in my life where I'm going to the Wikipedia page for Lunchables. Took a wrong turn somewhere. Wow. Introduced in Seattle in 1988. I would have thought they were around before I was born. Wow. And the design of the package was based to look like an American TV dinner. This was like the lunch version of it for kids. Wow. 34 years, still kicking it. All right, let's have our dessert. You guys like sour candies? Sour Patch Kids are probably the goat. Sour candy, right? There's, there's six. They gave me six pieces of candy. <laughs> Gee, which one do I start with? Let's go with blue. They're so good. Every single time. We do this in college at the Land Shark. We get those big fish bowls of booze and you'd all like, 
<laughs> that was sus. We'd all take straws and then we'd all see who could finish first between like table A versus table B. Really creative team names. <laughs> and the Sour Patch Kids, went, by the time you get to the uh, bottom of the bowl, they had been so soaked in like the vodka or the rum that you'd eat them and it would, <laughs> just any way you can get all messed up, you know? Well, I'm gonna stroll down memory lane. I'm gonna call my dentist, get ahead of this, call my therapist, get ahead of this. I think the red ones are the best. Overall, that was fun. Did you guys drink lunch? <laughs> Did you guys drink them? Did you guys drink Lunchables when I've had one shot? You guys drink Lunchables when you're a kid? <laughs> Did you eat Lunchables? Which one was your favorite? Will someone please donate for me to do the pizza? The original. I haven't had that as well. I haven't had a Lunchable in so 25 years. Ingo Bango. I ate every single morsel in that box. Stacy, how'd they get harder? Stacy Logan, thank you. Can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on Lunchables. Man, these are bad for your teeth. And I'll see you tomorrow for <laughs> what a dumb profession. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video on Tuesday. Have an amazing rest of your Monday. Front load your week, get everything done so you can party the rest of the week. If you want to donate, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal's right there. It's also linked below every video if you ever want to throw in money. Maybe you got a Lunchables flavor you want me to try. Lunchables up, Lunchables down. <laughs>